This time on Vintage Steel Garage, we sort out a carburetor issue on the board racer. Okay, so we've got the board racer engine running again in the last episode, but we're still getting it where it's not running quite right. It's, it's basically bogging down on full throttle. And I think the problem is these engines, or these carburetors I should say, are pretty crude carburetors. It's a Delorto carburetor. Um, if you look at this one that's off the engine here, it's basically a float bowl at the bottom, a Venturi effect carb, and a butterfly valve. There's no needle in it whatsoever. Now, normally the engine runs with this type of flywheel with the fins on it, and what happens is as the flywheel's running round, with the fins it creates a draft and that draft opens with a series of these rods opens this throttle up here and that's how it's controlled it's not controlled direct off the cable the cable itself comes to here but it's sprung loaded to here and this is like a governor system on it so with me trying to just open this butterfly valve fully up and then sort of try and feather the throttle it's not really working because as I say there's no needle in here so all it's simply doing is opening that drawing more air through which is then drawing more petrol up and revving and then it doesn't sort of die down properly so what I'm going to do hopefully my solution is to bin all of this all of this linkage and replace it with this so I'm going to replace the carburetor with the contents of this box which hopefully is a carburetor off a pit bike so let's have a look at this This was ordered off eBay, can't quite remember how much it was, I think it was something like £12 including delivery, so it's, um, you know, it's worth a try. Alright, let's see what we've got. The spacing should be the same, so not bad really for 11 quid, including postage. So we've got a little air filter. We've got some gaskets, show ring, smallest fuel filter I've ever seen in my life. And a carburetor. And some fuel hose. So it's got a manual choke on it. This will be the yep. Yeah, so that's the actual needle valve that's inside it. There, I just need to lift that up and get that out. So we'll poke that out. Yep. Yeah, so that's the needle you see that then will be pulled up and down. So that's how you can affect the venturi in that whereas basically I've just got this where all it's got is a simple butterfly valve at the front opening and closing that petrol flow so uh, just as a check before we get coo carried away so I picked this carburetor because of the pitch of the bolts and the size of the hole here to line up with this carburetor and you can see just trying the gasket on So that's the gasket on there lining up with those holes so that's good and it also lines up with these holes here so that's a good start so let's get the carb off and see how we can swap them over right so we just get this carb stripped down then um, I'm hoping it'll just be a straightforward swap oops that's not a good start I'll place that hose later Right, so the cab's just held on with these two 10mm bolts and the linkages, so if we take these off first Thank you. 
two M6 bolts holding this on. Lovely weather outside. Hoping I can reuse this cable. So it's that linkage off. Yeah, that sounds good. Carburetor coming off. There we go. All carb off, all gasket off. And if you have a look, these gaskets you can see pretty much bang on size. So we know that's going to fit on okay. So basically this carburetor is going to go on like this. I just need to find out am I going to be looking these bolts fit. Oh yes I am. So that is going to fit neatly on there. Excellent. Right, <clears throat> let's get it on. There we go. This is all going too easy. Surely something's gotta go wrong. Right, this could be it going wrong. Looks like the spacing on these. Looks like we need to just file these out slightly just to increase the spacing. It's probably half a mil out, so I'm just going to file both of these just on the outer edges a little bit. So what I decided to do was I've taken the inlet manifold off, uh, small and dinky as it is, and just to actually work out where the error was. And as you can see, the problem being that this gasket is a perfect fit on this manifold. Whereas if I put it onto the carb, it's probably half a hole off. So what I need to do is realign these holes. This gasket fits this carburetor. No, it doesn't. See, that's actually wrong as well, which is interesting. So what I've got to do is realign these holes, file these holes to suit this. So I'm just going to do that now. Notice that screw goes all the way through there, so I'm going to have to put that screw back in, or else I'm going to have a, a leak. I've enlarged the holes in this manifold here, and you can see the carb's gone on nicely, as if it was made for it, so that's looking good. Uh, I've tried it on the bike, just to make sure it will clear everything. And that's also looking good, it's not catching on the exhaust or anything like that. What I might do while it's still off now is just remove this was a, a, a tab that's not needed anymore so I'm just going to trim that up and take that off tidy that up and tidy that up and just make it look a bit, little bit more like it's uh, meant to be on this bike rather than a lawnmower ok so I've cleaned up the manifold got rid of some of the tabs, there was a threaded bit sticking up here there's a tab sticking up here and there was an air on here so I cut all those off 
made it look a little bit prettier. Also realised normally it's that way around on the engine, like that, to put the carburetor that way, but it's actually symmetrical. So if I just turn it over that way, it looks a lot prettier from where you're seeing it. So instead of that way, it's going to be that way on. So I'm going to bolt all that on the carb, get that on, and show you what that. Okay, so cut the carburetor back on now. You can see I've cleaned the manifold up here. Uh, flipped it over so all the fittings are at the bottom and the screws on the inside so it just looks a bit cleaner on this side space these holes out slightly put the carburetor on got the fuel going in there this is just drained for an overflow okay it's trapped on there at the moment but to be honest it's not going anywhere so that's just fine sat down there like that this is the choke so you can see that's fully choked off and that's open so we'll put a little bit of choke on it I need to change the accelerator cable set up here. Uh, let's see if you can see inside there. Doubt you can. You can see that opening. No. So uh, I've got to do something with this. this. Basically, this accelerator cable is too long for what I need. I need to set something else up different for that. That's not quite right, but it does work, and it will rev like that. So let's put the cord on and give it a pull and see how it starts. Okay, so I'm just going to put the cord on to start the engine. I've uh, got a little bit of choke on, got the fuel on. Let's put the choke on. Let's see how this goes. So this is the first start with the new carb on. Now the problem with it before, basically, it was revving and bogging down. So it would run on tick over, but as soon as you open the throttle up, it would just absolutely bog and die down. So let's see if we can get it running to start off with. No, nope, not the first start, a little bit less choke maybe. Second pull, a little bit of life in it. Ooh, we're nearly there. Try again. Yeah, fair to say that pretty good success that. So next thing is to sort out a better setup on the accelerator cable, get the air filter on, and I think we're in business and we start looking at a clutch next. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and I'm sure we'll have this on the road soon. Thank you.